Okay, so uh, driving up the motorway yesterday and sudden loss of power. Um, I always keep my code reader handy with me. And we've got a, uh, a P203. So there's the injector three. I'm gonna pull a little cover off. Let's see if I can remove. Um, you can see that the uh, the connectors there are uh, a little bit dirty. It's, uh, injector three seems to um, to capture this, and you can see the dirt around there at the moment. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is try and tighten them up a little bit. But um, I think uh, I think the, the the modification will have to be fitted. But let's see what uh, what we can do with this. So I'll try to get a switch cleaner on it. And give it a clean up. It is like a clip there. Yeah, there's a thing piece there. But, um, just using a generic. And it's my final bit of switch cleaner. So it's, like it's very cold at the moment. Very tiny little things. I'm not sure if um, there's any possibility of actually making them. Also, I could take this apart, I suppose, and uh, try and pull the. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, but let's go with that. Let's see if I can see if it's cleaner on the injector itself. To raise the codes so, there you go so you can see check engine light on raising the code there is another code on this uh, relating to um, the fuel filter right no codes seems to have worked. I did say in it that I had about a thousand miles to do, I think it was about 700 in the hen. Um, we got to about 500 miles of that and the, um, the quick fix last time failed miserably and it's, it's mainly due to this plug breaking down now. Um, so quick stop off at a DIY store, a couple of zip locks and uh, it's been fine ever since but now it's time to replace the part with the new part which should go on there somehow and we need to solder this into the into the into the wiring loom yeah I was a bit worried about these getting a bit hot and melting because it does get a bit warm down here but um, no such fears so that was okay right, let's take this plug off you can see where it's it's started to break it's it's just got brittle over time and with me pulling it on and off it's um, it's not done it any good at all so let's have a let's see if we can unwrap this from the wiring loom so I reckon this clamp somehow and some weird plasticky potential break type of way how does this clip onto here So I'm going to match it, that one to that one, and that one to that one. Well, that 
so he's effect we'll um we'll put that back together and uh take it for a test drive see how that goes <laughs>